Hello everyone and welcome to Dryer Days Art Studio. This is Catherine. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. I have a ton of free content for you guys. Also lots of bonus content for my patrons. I want to give them all a shout out right now because I have a lot of new patrons and I haven't given them a shout out in a while in a video. So I'm just going to give them all a shout out here really quick starting with my oldest to my newest patron. We have Laura, Marcy, Georgia, Miss Thompson, Leslie, Tracy, Ravelli, Monica, Crystal, Dawn, Camille, Michelle, Megan, Elizabeth, Kelly, Catherine, Sarah, Christy, Meg, Helen, and Betty. Thank you guys so, so much. I appreciate your patronage so much. It helps to keep my channel artwork going. And just so you guys know, I am gonna be dropping a patron only video uh, for the dish that you see here. But in this video, we're gonna go over how I made the flat little tray there using everything in the DD July art box. I threw in a couple of these patriotic car cup holder molds here that I'm gonna show you a little bit of how I made those. A little bit more bonus content will be also over there for my patrons at patreon.com slash dryer days. If you're interested in becoming a patron, please check out the video description for more info. Uh, this box was again another big hit. You guys sold out the June art box. This one is close to being sold out. If you're watching this video and the box is sold out, I will list all the products individually in the description below uh, so that you can find all of this great stuff. We have a couple new products in here that I'm excited to bring you. So let's get right into this. So as you can see here, I'm kind of cutting up a few pieces of the watermelon fantasy film. That is a brand new fantasy film to my store, and I wanted to include that in this box. July, you know, is so hot here in the US and kind of muggy, but also bright and sunny. And so I wanted this box to really feel warm and sunny and have golds and yellows and oranges and reds, just really nice warm stuff. So I saw this watermelon fantasy film and I thought this would be perfect in this box. I like to give you guys kind of an array, like some silicone products, some film, some textures, paste, uh, mica pigments. So you guys just are eating this box up. I hope you are loving it. And again, if you're watching this and the boxes are sold out, do not fear because we will have these products also in the store. As you saw with the patriotic little cup holders, I like to throw in sometimes little bonuses for you guys in the boxes. And so I have a couple of those molds available in the store, not many, because I just wanted to kind of have that for people who bought the box, but sometimes I get a few extra. So if you do want those patriotic silicone mold car uh, cup holders, you can find those in the store. Again, everything will be linked below. But here I'm just kind of forming a shape with my fantasy film. As you can see here, I'm really rubbing out bubbles because we can get some air bubbles under the fantasy film. And then when we pour our resin in, that air is stuck under there. And then if you demold and you want the bottom to be the side facing up, obviously you're gonna have some air bubbles and pockets in there. I've shared that in other fantasy film videos, but I know recently a lot of people have been buying the fantasy film with questions about that. Um, you know, air bubbles are something we struggle with in resin all the time. So just be mindful of anything, not just fantasy film, but even textures that you're laying down. Sometimes we can get little pockets uh, between stones and stuff, and then that will cause those air bubbles that will then be stuck there as your piece cures. And I knew I wanted this fantasy film sort of peeking out, so I'm not, this doesn't have to be perfect. I just wanted to get a nice base of the fantasy film down on the mold before I started pouring my resin. I knew that this was not gonna be my side facing up, so that's why I can be kind of messy. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is gonna be peeking through up underneath my pigmented resin. And let's get right into some of the products you're gonna get in the box. So first of all, let's start with the Sunburst Color Cream Pigment Paste beautiful bright orange paste. Look at how rich and warm this is. So pretty. I'm not a big orange person, but I of course wanted to have an array of colors in the store for people. And this is just such a beautiful orange in my opinion. You're also gonna get the light gold shimmer mica pigment. This is a very beautiful light yet very shimmery sparkly pigment. Look at how beautiful, nice and warm with the yellows in there. You're also gonna get a sample of the gold metallic color cream pigment paste. 
This is one of my best sellers. This is part of the metallic line. So you're gonna get um, some really cool effects with this gold metallic. It's gonna float on the top. You'll see that in a second. I'll explain how that happens. Also throwing in some holographic gold glitter. Look at how beautiful this fine holographic gold glitter is. Beautiful. And again, all of this is for sale in my store in full sizes. I like to give just kind of smaller samples in the boxes so you guys can try different things out. And so now I'm just remixing this up a little bit because we're getting ready to pour this in the mold. Just making sure it's really nice, fully mixed, and just going to come in with some sort of random lines here, laying down that beautiful sunburst pigment. And now I'm gonna use the light gold shimmer mica pigment next. I was really pleased with how these two cured next to each other, beautiful colors together. I love this mica pigment too because it is a mica but it's so shimmery like a glitter. And here is some of that holographic gold glitter. There are a few uh, products I did not use in these pieces, including the champagne gold glitter, which you get a sample of as well. And then I'm gonna pour some clear in here because I wanna leave some pockets so that we can see that fantasy film coming through. You're also going to get some of the gold cuttings, a little sample of that, which I actually use in the dish. I'll show you how I lay that down in this video. But again, that is bonus content for my patrons. Uh, but I did not use the gold cuttings in this little tray here. And with this hexagon mold, you know, it's, it's kind of the perfect size that it could either be a large coaster or a small tray. So this is definitely something you could put kind of like on your coffee table to put your, your TV remote on or like on your night side table to hold your jewelry or your watch. Um, but it's not a giant tray and it's not a small little coaster either. So I like the size of it. You're also gonna get that silicone mixing cup too that you see there. I don't use it in this video, uh, but that's really good for mixing. Um, you can put, of course, like pigments and stuff in there that you want to pour. With the silicone mixing cups, it's really hard to mix glitter in those cups and then get the glitter out. So you will see me still using my paper cups when I'm using like my pigmented resin or my glitter resin because it can be really hard to clean those silicone cups out and get all of the glitter out. But they are really great for measuring and mixing your clear resin. You are also going to get a sample size of the Dragon Scales Sparkler, which I don't use in these pieces, but that is a beautiful red multi-sized glitter. And here is that gold metallic that I'm just drizzling on. This will float, but I kind of like to put this on last just to get maximum floating power <laughs> and just hitting with some heat to pop the bubbles and then spritzing it right there with some rubbing alcohol. And you can see how all these colors just morph and start to move together with that rubbing alcohol. And that rubbing alcohol is gonna help pop bubbles, but also help that gold metallic float. So now this is 24 hours later and I am doing a second coat because I wanted another layer, but look at that gold metallic there already floating. And so I really like that middle section, how it's floating like that. So I'm gonna avoid it with my second layer of resin here and just drizzling on some of that light gold shimmer pigment. As you saw, I drizzled on a little bit of the sunburst. We're gonna add a little bit more of that holographic gold glitter because I wanted to see a little bit more of that sparkle coming through. But they all really blended beautifully together in that first layer, in my opinion. I think they all look gorgeous together, these colors. And now I'm just gonna kind of fill the rest out here with clear resin because again we can see that fantasy film peeking through pretty nicely underneath and I want to keep that just moving some of that clear around with a gloved finger here it's kind of nice when you already have a base layer of resin too because this layer will almost like stick to that first layer so there won't be a ton of movement which is nice because i don't want to lose too much of that first layer i just wanted some of my colors to pop a little bit more and to make the the finished piece a little bit thicker so here again i'm going to show this piece for my patrons but i did just want to show you using some of the gold cuttings sprinkling that down onto a dry mold there's no no resin on the silicone mold at all 
and just getting that started with those cuttings. So here I'm using some red red and I'm gonna use some deep blue mica pigment. Those do not come in the box, but I just wanted to show real quick how I started some of these cup holders so you guys have an idea. I also used some of my red velvet cake glitter in there, beautiful red and just filled out these little molds. They turned out so, so cute. I'm gonna show a little bit more in depth on these two over for my patrons, but uh, giving you guys a little bit of an idea here, using my silica brushes from my store, that will be listed below as well. You can find all of these products in the description. Okay, so here's that first one that I made for you guys. Look at that watermelon fantasy film. You can see it peeking through here. I'm just gonna sand my edges and that piece will be done. Here are the cup holders finished. Look at that beautiful red velvet glitter in there. The red, red pigment is a beautiful true red and the deep blue is just the perfect blue. Here are the pieces done inside my house. So out of the direct sunlight, I was hoping you could see the layering that we had happening here. It's a little hard to see, but the layers in person are so beautiful. And then here is that finished little sculpted uh, dish that I made for the patrons over there. Beautiful how that turned out. I just love how you can see that fantasy film and you can really see here the different colors we get depending on where the, the light is hitting that fantasy film. Beautiful and warm but almost inflections of like green and blue in there almost too. And just showing how you can see that metallic really shining from that gold on top as well. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, please like, comment, and subscribe. Come find me on Instagram and TikTok under Dryer Days. Patrons, you will be getting that bonus video for this. And if you guys want to become patrons, there's information in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and keep on pouring.